erosion, erosion is bad at the school, and, and we, we need, need to help stop it as a community. community. Would you like runoff and mud all over the place? Do you want to drink bad water? Do you want a school that looks bad? Those are some things that could happen if we don't do something about this. I think we should all help and pick up some wood chips if you see them. Plant long-rooted plants and keep off the hill at the back entrance they, to keep the erosion steady. If we work together, we can stop erosion at Farnsworth. You got your history homework done? Yes, right here. Remember the last time I did for you? You didn't do anything. You, or you did he? Guess, get off the wall, dude. Why? Just the wall, man. Exactly. Calm down. Dude, these wood chips go into that school, sewer over there, and then it, uh, the sewer takes that. it all the way yeah. to the Mississippi River. And that, and then it produces phosphorus, and the tarp stirred up, makes algae grow, and when algae dies, the water area runs out of oxygen. And if you're a fisher, you're very angry at the people who did it because the fish are gone. They're dead. So you're telling me that this goes into the water? Yes. Eh. <laughs> no, seriously, get off the wall. Giovanni, look what you're doing, man. Get off the wall. <laughs> We're working in the front of the school at Barnes Roof on the east side of St. Paul to try to solve some erosion problems and improve water quality downstream. The school um, moved in here several years ago and they started this process by building a wall, but they didn't finish the job yet, so we're taking that task on here today. We have master gardeners working with us and we've developed a, a complete design for the front of the school to help slow down the mulch from washing into the storm sewers, which has been a big problem here. Water quality is affected by organic matter like mulch and dirt. When it ends up in the water, it carries phosphorus down to our nearby lakes and rivers. And that phosphorus can contribute to algae growth, which in turn can cause problems with oxygen levels in the water. So our project here today is getting us ready so that we can install a erosion blanket um, on the hillside. And so that required us to use various hostas that were planted a couple of years ago and we're moving them out of the area where we're going to do the erosion blanket. And then we'll be planting a variety of a lot of different perennials and grasses in this area as well as hostas and rearranging some of the plants to have a beautiful front of the school.